Imagine what this would do as your perception as a star if you could learn how to be totally present in the current moment. And in my estimation, it's, it's the magic behind the phrase, think, shoot, but work. There's a story about Rowdy Roddy Piper. And this was when I was first making my big run to try to make it, you know, to get tryouts and stuff like that. And, and Piper took a, took a shine to me. He actually liked me a little bit. And he goes, hey, you know, I want to give you some advice. So he calls me up and brings me to a private room. And, you know, Piper goes, so you want to be in the wrestling business, right? I said, well, yes, sir. He goes, you're getting tryouts? I said, yes, sir. And he stands up. And he looks, and there's, there's nobody in the, it's a private room. And he just gets right up and he gets nose to nose with me. And I can look in his eyes and he goes, why the F are you in my business? And he's right there. And I'm like, oh my God, why is this guy going to kill me? And he goes, why the F are you in my business? And I said, sir, you know, I just, I love this business. And, you know, I told him all the stuff that you, that you would expect to say. And he goes, are you uncomfortable right now? And I said, sir, with all due respect, I am. And he goes, and there's nobody in the room, by the way. And he points and he goes, so are these other 18,000 people around us right now. And I go, whoa. He was working me. He wasn't mad. He was trying to give me a lesson. And the lesson was, he goes, when me and you are in the present moment, when me and you think it's real, so do these fans. When we lose ourselves in the moment, so do the fans. Presence is your power. Presence is what makes you a star. Presence is the difference between what made the guys megastars in the 80s, megastars in the 90s, Austin, Rock, Triple H, Hogan, Warrior, all these guys. They were able to be present in the moment. And the reason why it's so rare right now is because guys are so worried about what's coming 5, 10, 15 spots ahead. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not being this old fogey guy that's like, don't plan your matches, don't do that. But what I'm saying is, when you're in your head, you're dead. When you're in your head, you're no longer alive. When you're in your head, there's no emotion anymore, right? What's going to make you a star is the emotion that comes from doing things in the present moment. You have to, re- you have to react like it's real. Okay, does that make sense? So it's not that you can't plan your match, and it's not that you can't come up with the spots, but when you're so in your head trying to think of what's 5, 10, 15 moves ahead, it no longer becomes something where you're present, and it becomes choreography. And when it becomes choreography, it's no longer pro wrestling. And when it's no longer pro wrestling, well, there's no longer the emotional connection with the crowd. The crowd actually can't get into it because now they're just watching a dance. And they'll respect it like a dance but they won't respect you as a star. They won't connect to you as a star. They will appreciate the fancy ballet that you're doing. You know, they'll, they'll like applaud it like the circus, but they're not going to have that emotional investment and really care whether you win or lose or live and die.